What's up gamers, welcome to my new video guys. In today's video we are doing a tier list of all robots and more robots after the update 7.0. Yeah guys, you know that I already did these, yeah, but I did them for the previous updates and now I'm considering all the changes with the weapons, with the robots and everything guys, so now I'm doing it again. So stay tuned with me, uh, let's jump into tier list and let's start uh, selecting robots and putting them in uh, which position I think that they are currently in the game. Also, before we start, please, if you are not, consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like video, leave a like. So guys, let's start with the video without further ado. So, the first in here that I see is Ao Guang. Ao Guang, I would say uh, that uh, still I see some of those in uh, Champion League, almost in Champion League. So I think that Ao Guang is actually is not that bad, guys. Really, it's it's uh, it's it's good uh, robot in some in some instances. It can be played really nice. Uh, the second one is Aochun. Aochun, despite all these nerfs and everything, now it's really viable robot uh, in some gameplays because of a lot of Orochis that will probably show up <laughs> in game really really soon, guys. So uh, Aochun, I would put Aochun at least at at in good uh, category. It's better than Ao Guang, definitely, guys. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really in uh, doubting with this one, where to put it. But I'm sorry, because of that uh, really short flight, at this point, for me, it's a good robot. Ao Kin. Uh, Ao Kin has a problem that it, it almost doesn't have any special ability, guys. His only special ability is to fly, but when it flies, it's really vulnerable. It doesn't have any resistance or something like that. So I would put this one into a playable category, but it can't go above this, to be honest. Ares, oh my god, once a mighty Ares, which was the best robot in the game, definitely for for some time. It was it was a pretty long meta, to be honest. But now at this point, because of all these nerves, because of shield breaker and everything, but mostly because of the nerves of the speed while its ability is on, um, I would put it into a good category at this point. Honestly, I, it can go above. Bohemoth, oh my god. <laughs> Bohemoth is really hard, really, really hard to put into any, uh, into categories. It's not actually that bad, but it's not good enough. But you know what, guys? I will put this one into a good category. You know why? Because uh, they are, uh, Pixonic is planning to introduce a new pilot for it. You can see it in one of my videos uh, where I was uh, speaking about these rumors and everything. So guys, uh, this one goes into a good category, definitely. With that pilot, it will be good. It will be good because it will have a resistance while it is in his, uh, I think in four, yeah, in four weapons mode, it will have a resistance. And while in two weapons mode, it will have uh, additional speed. So actually it's not bad, really, it's not bad. Oh my god, Blitz! We come to Blitz. Uh, Blitz is a really actually good robot, but uh, you have to choose a specific pilot for it. His legendary pilot needs to be used with it to make it really really viable robot at this point. And for a while it was it was definitely in meta. Guys, don't take me wrong. But after a few nerfs and all these changes, but again, after nerf of Hawk, uh, it became uh, a much more viable once again, guys. And even uh, if you're running shells against it, it has it has its resistance, so it's actually not that bad. Honestly, I would put it into a very good category. For me, at least, it's it's. Once again, I will say this is my personal opinion, guys. Maybe it's a different from the other, from from your opinion. But this is uh, this is something that uh, I'm doing according to my experience in in Champions League gameplay. I'm playing in Champions League for many many years guys, I've been in all top clans, I've been in all top uh, top squads on Android, so actually my experience is a bit, <laughs> it's a big. <laughs> so Boa, where to put Boa? Boa, oh my god, Boa, Boa, honestly it's good only in lower leagues, it can't go about that, honestly I'm sorry. Uh, Bolt, <laughs> I, you know I, I, I played my uh, baby account guys. So with the bolts, I saw some bolts running and I would say it's, it's a fun robot. It can be fun, I, I would put it in some playable category, I don't know, something like that. Definitely, it's, it's, it's fun bot to run. 
that only because of that I'm putting it into that category. I don't think it can go into a good category, definitely, because Ares, Ouch, and all these robots which are currently there, according to my opinion, they are much, much better than this one. Uh, Bulgasari. Bulgasari is going into a playable category. You know why, because Bulgasari has its physical shield, it has dashes, and it has a pretty much nice HP. So it can be used in some lower leagues, definitely. Butch, where to put Butch? Oh my god. Butch is really hard to put anywhere, but uh, if you are, if you like, uh, I don't know, if you like uh, sniping game type and if... Honestly, if you are using it with some nice sniping weapons, let, let's put it, let's put it in some, I don't know, maybe playable or only lower league. It's something in between, to be honest, guys. It's, it's, I wouldn't recommend building it, to be honest. So I'm sorry, I would put it in good and lower leagues. Definitely good and lower leagues. Carnage, there is not much to say about this robot. Uh, this robot was for a while crazy, crazy meta, guys. It was crazy meta in the beginnings of the of the war robots, but at this point it's definitely only good in lower leagues. It can go about that. Cerberus. Cerberus I would actually put in a good category because I saw some people even running it in Champion League very successfully. Kozak, oh my god. Kozak, Kozak is a legendary. I don't have a tier for it. It's a legendary tier. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, if I'm saying honestly, I would put it into a good in lower leagues because it's it's really not good <laughs> robot but it's a legendary robot people like it it's a starting robot in war robots so because of that next time i'm making a legendary tier list and i will put it on that <laughs> so demeter oh my god demeter at this point is definitely a meta guys because of its shield because of teleportation especially if you are using it in with legendary pilots so if you have this one and you have legendary pilot use a legendary pilot on it because the uh, because uh, the new legendary pilot which gives it ability to heal a grayscale because no other pilot is even close to that guys if you are running it on the meter so the next one is destrier destrier sorry also <laughs> start a robot you are good only in the lower leagues i'm really sorry uh regarding doc what would i say regarding doc Definitely at this point, Doc is also only good in lower leagues. At this point, it's really not viable in the game. Definitely not viable in the game. Falcon. Oh my god. Because of the nerf of Hawk and all these anti-resistance stuff, Hawk is, uh, Falcon is going into a good category. Definitely a good category. Maybe I can put it in a, a bit higher, but... I don't want to. I don't want to tell you something, guys. To, to upgrade, it's it's good if you are upgrading it and if you are using it uh, with only one weapon, because you will have a lot of resistance. It's it will be really cheap because you will need to upgrade only one weapon. And, and it it really has his advantages and it can be even played in Champion League. But I can't put it above good category at this point, honestly, because there is so many new robots, so many new stuff, so many changes. I can't put it above that category. Bulwark, Bulwark is definitely going into a good category because if you are using some uh, certain uh, chips on it at this point and if you are using good pilot skills, good weapon on it, it can be viable. It can still be viable in the game. There isn't many in the Champion League to be honest, but in the lower leagues it can definitely play uh, some role. Farrier. Farrier is going definitely into a very good category because at this point it's a really, really good one. Especially if you are using it with uh, with some of these uh, legendary pilots. Fujin. Fujin is going into a... Um, I can't even... I don't know. Could I put it in the playable category? It's something in between, but... Okay, let's put it into a playable category. Fury. Oh my god. Fury. Fury is definitely not good. It's uh, too slow. It's a bag of silver, guys. So for me, this robot is going only good in lower leagues. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't put it above that, guys. So uh, the next one we have uh, Galahad. Galahad is also going in the good lower lower leagues because it, it simply doesn't have what it takes to be successful in the higher leagues. Garrett as well. Garrett is his <laughs> smaller version of it. 
Now we are coming to Jepard. Jepard, which was once really, really good in game, but at this point, it's only good in lower leagues. Golem, oh my god, I still remember one guy who was running five golems in the Champion League. It was, it was really, really funny. And he was, he's a cool guy. So, but Golem, definitely not, <laughs> not that good in higher leagues. So I will put it good in lower leagues only. The Riker. Oh my god, what to say about Riker? Riker has its uh, suppression and stuff. It, it can be a really annoying robot, but I would, I would say at this point I'm sorry, but for me it going into a playable category because it, it doesn't have a lot of HP, it can be killed really, really easy. But it's not that weak. Griffin, oh my god, regarding Griffin, I love this robot. I honestly adore this robot. It was it was such a fun to play this robot, guys. But uh, at this point, where would I put this one? I would put it into a good and lower leagues. I'm sorry, Griffin. Sorry, Grip. Let's go back to that Fenrir, guys. I, I, I wanted to say something, yes. Regarding the Fenrir, I think that the best pilot for it is definitely Bernadette Wolf because it, has, it gives it Additional durability, 60%, it's it's a lot, guys, it's a lot. If you are using it with the healing and with the good good drone chips, I will also make a video about that, guys, uh, about every single drone in the game, so stay tuned. Uh, definitely, Ferrier can be really, really viable in the, also in the Champion League. I see a lot of people running it, especially with Sonic weapons, guys. But I think that the new freeze weapons will be beasts on it. Definitely a beast of a weapon. So we came to the Hades. Hades definitely is going into a very good category because I, st I see a lot of them in the Champion League. The only problem that is facing Hades in this moment is Shell. But honestly, <laughs> seeing all this, I don't think that Shell... <laughs> Shell will receive some kind of a nerf, guys. Definitely, I can see it in the future because there is a lot of Shells in the game and people are complaining a lot about it. It's not me, sorry, I, I'm not saying anything, I'm not complaining, I, I have my shell as well. But I'm just saying honestly to you guys, what, what's my thoughts? So the next one is Heichi, oh my god, Heichi, how I love this robot. This robot was absolutely so, so cool robot, guys. It was, it was amazing when it, uh, when it came out, it was, like they say, really OP. So, but at this point, I wouldn't put it over a playable category. It's, it's, it's only in that category, I'm sorry. Hook, oh my god, we came to the beast a few months ago. He was absolute beast. But after these nerfs and everything, hmm, it's still in the meta, don't take me wrong. But it's uh, not the best one out there. The best one out there at this point, I think, is... Uh, one of them is definitely the meter. But Hawk is still in the meta, guys, and it's really, really good in, against the Titans. Definitely, it's great against Titans. So now we are coming to Hellburner. Oh, yeah. One of the exploding beasts. Hellburner uh, got a buff in the recent update, guys. So it's no longer, uh, it's no longer losing HP while it's uh, using its ability or exploding. But... Still, it's, it doesn't have what it takes to be at the top level at this point, guys. It doesn't have shields, for example, like uh, like uh, Shell, or it doesn't have a resistance like robots like Fenrir or something like that. But I would put it into a playable category, and it, it, it's, it's definitely in that category. It's definitely in that category. So maybe it can go a little bit above. I'm sorry, but this is my personal opinion. So Hoover, Hoover, I see a lot of Hoovers in the game, people people love them in the lower leagues. So I would put it into a playable category, but I'm sorry, I can't put it above because it doesn't have any, it's like, doesn't have any special ability in these times when you can only fly, you are sitting back there if you don't have resistance or, I don't know, stealth or something like that. Inky, Inquisitor, oh my god, where to put you, buddy? Where to put you, buddy? My friend, where do I put you? Honestly, I'm not sure where to put you. At this point, I don't know, let's go into a playable category. I will put it in playable category, but it's 
It's something in between playable and good in lower leagues. But I will put it at this, at this instance, I will put it in a playable category. Invader, regarding Invader, I think that it's, it's definitely can go into this category because if, if it has if it has some uh, good skills and everything, it can, it can be still a killer robot, to be honest, guys, at some point. Uh, only problem again for the invader, the biggest problem at this point is no longer even a Hawk, because Hawk got nerfed, uh, Sonic Weapons, because it cannot do his primary thing to heal a damage that it has, because it has a huge HP and it can't heal it back, so that's a huge problem. I think that uh, after uh, Sonic Weapons will definitely, guys, they, they will need to do something regarding the damage that it's unkillable, you will see in future. And I, I still think that Invader has his spot and in the today's game. Jaeger, oh my god, <laughs> what to say about this Typer? I'm sorry Jaeger, but I can put you, for me at least, only in playable category. Or you are you are even you can even be in good category, but at some point I'm not that much of a fan of a sniping, so I don't know. I tried it in Champions League. It's definitely not for the Champion League guys. <laughs> even even if you are using it in TDM, uh, only on certain maps it will work really cool, but on the other maps you are dead as me. And the problem is that in the other uh, game modes, it's not viable, so because of that I'm putting it in like playable category But it can be really good like I say if something in some TDM maps uh, In some TDM matches and on certain maps. Yeah, also if you are using railgun weapons on it That that's the deal you need to use railgun weapons on it and to be as far as you can from your enemies Jess, Jess, I'm sorry, but you are going only into a good lower leagues category. You are definitely not going above that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lil Jesse, sorry. So, Kumio. Oh my god. Kumio, where to put you, buddy? I will put you into a playable category because you are definitely not useless robot, but at this point you are not even... You are also not good robot. So, definitely you are going into that category. What to say about Lancelot? Too slow. Uh, it doesn't have a lot. It, it was once it was really really good HP, but at this moment it's not that much HP. So Lancy, I'm sorry. I love you. I played you a lot, but I will say that you are only good in lower leagues. Leech. Oh my God. This this one is interesting. After the nerf of Hawk, guys. Leech became again a uh, viable robot in certain leagues, in certain game modes, and I see them performing really, really good in some matches, really, honestly, even in the higher Champion League. So what would I say about this one? I would say, I would say that at this point, it can be placed at least in a good category. At least this category may be even very good, but I don't want to risk at this point, honestly, with it. Leo. Oh my god, dear dear Leo, dear Leo, but you are going into only good in lower leagues. I love this robot as well. I I played all these robots guys in certain periods of time. So uh, right now when I'm doing this tier list, it, it's like memory is coming back. What do we say about Loki? Loki is definitely a playable robot. Uh, maybe even uh, it can go into good category, but I don't, I don't want to... It was... In uh, Ravana Meta, it was really, really, honestly, really viable robot. But at this point, it's it's not that good. Uh, especially there is one problem because, for example, with the Demeter, which uh, you have a lot of Demeters in the game currently in the Champion League and in the higher leagues, it can be really easily killed because even with its uh, stealth, uh, Demeter is having weapons which are lower, very low placed, so you can shoot it even while he's in stealth. So it's definitely no go for some higher champion league gameplays. Definitely no, guys. Uh, Mender, oh, where to put Mender? It had, it had a few buffs and stuff like that. It, it can be, it was changed a little bit by Pixonic. And I will put this one into a playable category. Definitely it's going into a playable category. It's, 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 not, it's not that bad. 
So that's why I'm uh, bringing it back into a playable category. Oh, we have a lot of robots, so <laughs> it can't even stand in, in here. Oh my God, no, Ravana is not there. <laughs> so let's go with Mercury. Where to put Mercury? Mercury for me is definitely at this point only in a playable category. For me, it can't go above. I'm sorry. That's my personal opinion. Like I said, guys, you have your opinions. I have my opinions. So that that's for me at this point, my opinion. Natasha, Natasha is going only in good and lower leagues. Definitely, I cannot put it above that. Sorry, Natasha. Uh, Nemesis, Nemesis can go into a playable category because Nemesis is, has his uh, retribution. Uh, it has its uh, shield as well, absorber shield. And its uh, duration of the shield is not long, but the thing is that it has also really, really good uh, cooldown time on that shield, which is really low. So it can be used a lot of time during the game. Uh, so let's go for the others. Uh, now we have a Nightingale. Nightingale at this point is going into a good category, boys, uh, because uh, it had it had some nerves and and it's the problem is that it's not that fast like it was. Uh, so that's the huge problem. It can't hold beacons like it was holding it before, but it's still good as a healer, as a support robot. It can be used really, really nicely. So I would put it definitely according to my opinion is that it goes into a good category, guys. Uh, general pattern, general pattern, sorry, but you are going only in good and lower leagues. Uh, regarding the Phantom, what would we say about uh, Lil Phantom? Lil Phantom at this point, is going into a good category. Even it can be uh, placed in something like between very good and good. It's uh, it can be a really interesting robot in the Champion League. Still, it can be a really interesting robot because it's it's pretty fast. It has his uh, ability teleportation. He, he can teleport back, run away uh, in cover from the from the danger and stuff like that. So I would put it at least in a good category, maybe even into a very good category. So let's go for the next one. Pursuer, oh my God. When I see Pursuer, I think about Islander, guys. Islander, <laughs> legendary pilot for Pursuer, Islander. Come on, Pixo, do it, do it, just do it. So uh, where to put Pursuer? I have to put Pursuer into a good category. Because honestly, it's not it's not bad robot. It can be used really good. Still, if you are a really skilled pilot, you can use it really really good. So let's go after the others. Let's see. Now we have a Raijin. Raijin is definitely going in good in lower leagues. It can go above. I'm really really sorry, Raijin. Uh, Raven, yo, when I see Raven, I always remember Lottie Rose. Some of you will know about her. She was a YouTuber, she was a player, she was playing only with five of Ravens all the time. She was a legend of the community. She unfortunately left the War Robots because of some life stuff. And... But this robot for me is going only into a playable category. I can't say that it's really good because uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have what it takes to succeed in the highest uh, leagues at the highest game game level and stuff. So I, I want to honestly to tell you guys who came here to see what do I think about this to maybe to, to, to if you are new to the game to learn what which robots to upgrade. So I don't want to mislead you to tell you that some robot is great when it's not. Honestly, it's not. Uh, Rhino, Rhino, definitely only good in lower leagues uh, because this robot it has physical shield, but it's really slow. It's uh, fast only in its uh, shield mode, but when it uh, turns into that mode, it's it's really hard to go left and right. You will see it. So because of that, it definitely goes only in good in lower leagues. Rogatka, one of the legendary robots in War Robots, but at this point it goes only in good in lower leagues. Uh, so what do we have here? Oh, it's Boa again. <laughs> How can we have two Boas? 
<laughs> wow, sorry, I'm putting you again into this one. <laughs> no, it shoots, I'm sorry, it was a short, it was a really, it was a really, really small icon, so it, it's really hard for me to see, it's a shoots, I'm sorry. But also shoots is going into this goody lower leagues. <laughs> Scorpion, Scorpion is still a really good robot. So I have to say it goes into a really good category because honestly it still be really really viable robot at this point really viable uh, regarding the shell what can we say about shell we all see so many shell robots in the in the game guys so it can it definitely definitely goes into a meta category I can put it right now I will move like this so the shell is going into a meta category for sure boys at this point it can go down uh, under that category because it's definitely meta category uh, what to say about spectre spectre honestly sorry but at this point i don't see it above uh, above some playable category but because it's it simply lost it simply lost his in-game value, guys. Stoker, <laughs> Stoker is definitely only good in lower leagues. I, I can't say more than that. I'm sorry, Stoker. You are, you were, you were a legend. But at this point, you are simply not viable, to be honest. What do we say about Strider? Strider is really fast, and at some point, I think that if you are using good chips for it, and I have pretty good feeling that this robot will get a new uh, legendary pilot for it which will make it viable definitely guys so i would put this robot at least into a good category and because it deserves it really deserves that category at least that category don't take me wrong at least that category so what to say about uh tier we will we will typhoon le uh, left typhoon for later at this point, uh, I will uh, put in tier. I, I don't know. I, I I will put tier into a good category. Maybe it's it's between good and playable, but only because it can be a good support robot. I will put it into a good category, guys. Vitias, Vitias, sorry, Vitias, but you are going definitely into this <laughs> good in lower leagues <laughs> tier. No way above. Wayland, oh my God, this is this is really tough one. Because Wayland right now can be killed really, really easy. But can I say that it's uh, better than, for example, Raijin? Yeah, it is. It doesn't deserve to be in the same tier. For So for me, Ra Wayland will go into a playable category because it, it can heal a lot. It can help support enemy, support his friends. For example, in TDM, I saw some guys running it even in the higher champion league. In TDM, it was weird, guys, but it was it was pretty good it, it healed a lot so i'm definitely putting it into that category what to say about these three robots so these three bots are going into a into definitely this tier which is meta tier because typhoon is definitely good robot at this point I see a lot of them running in the Champion League as well, and I predict that there will be a lot more of them in the future, guys. I think that there will be a lot of them, especially running them. You will see people running them with Nitro units because it will be really, really fast at this instance. If you are using a Nitro unit on it, and if you are using new Reginald Pilot Roslin, it can be really crazy fast, guys. And it has four medium weapons and uh, shield. So combined with the good shield, good shield chips, it it can be great robot. I will put it in the meta category. Definitely for me, it's a meta category. Uh, what to say about Ravana? Ravana was once a huge beast and ruler of the game, but uh, it got some nerfs. But <laughs> with the, with the Sonic weapons introduction into the game, it became again really viable. So I would say that Ravana. Is still meta robot because I see so many Champion League players running it very successfully, guys. Because you can uh, run it against Titans, you can use your Transcendence. If you are using it with a Legendary Pilot, where you have uh, three skills, and if you are using Phase Shift on it, 
or here you are really really surviving for a long long time in the game and with the three havocs for example you are dealing enormous damage guys and it has pretty nice hp chunk of hp so definitely going into a meta category for me let's see what we you know what stay it here it's an orochi i have to do it like this because this tier list is a huge we have a lot of robots but orochi is going into a meta category you will say it's too early to say is it meta but for me honestly it, it is meta guys because it's so freaking fast it's the best beacon runner beacon capper at this point definitely this one definitely it's not good his disadvantage is if you are fighting against uh, shells but uh, shell is a lot slower than it so if you can you can run away pretty good from this Combined with some other robots, like for example, if you're running in squads, combined with the meter, this robot can be really crazy, crazy good. And it's the best beacon capper, like I say, in the game. So it has to go into the meta, guys. And it can go down because it's newly released. It can only get better, guys. So, uh, thank you very much for being here with me in this video, guys. I hope you like this video. If you are new to the game uh, or if you needed information, I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys. So in general, if you like this video, leave a like. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And see you in a new video, guys. Zoxy over now. Bye.